Hey everybody, it's me RJ. Today we're going to do spark plugs and wires on the 2007 to 2015 Avalanche Tahoe Suburban. Yes, I know. They stopped making Avalanche 13. They still made the, I think 14. 15 is a new year. 14 Suburban Tahoe Escalade, blah, blah. All right. What you're going to need to do, well, first off, I'm going to show you why you really want a video on this. See these little doohickeys? Um, I already did some of them just because I felt like I didn't feel like the wrestling and all that. So, that. These stick. They like go in, pull, and they like stick to the head. Um, and there you go. So, some of them you see got pinches. So, all right. You are definitely changing spark plugs. You're going to want to do the wires. So, I'm going with the AC Delco Professional Iridium Spark Plugs, which is factory. An AC Delco Professional Spark Fire Wire Set, which Hold is on. supposed to be. What are the numbers? Number four. 41-162 and then there's the other number okay and we got the line the things here there 9748rr our gm number 19297032 that's ac delco number okay eight cylinder some of mexico quantity eight so as you can see they're different now i don't know if they afterwards or just chevy asked them hey can you make our spark plugs so stupid that no one can get them off and want to kill themselves here, look at it. The entire system is the same, minus this big dumb boot, okay? And people are like, oh, you're supposed to save those metal things, whatever. Well, look, those aren't going on, okay? This is what's going on, okay? Let me show you why. You are gonna need a vice grip, a 5.8 socket wrench, a long screwdriver, an extension, another extension, and I'm not sure if I use the the big extension, but you're gonna need them, all right? Um, they're a pain. Oh, oh, here's the specialty tool, a Lyle spark plug wire tool, okay? They look like this, find on Amazon. It's a screwdriver little thing. This comes in handy the most. You have to get in under, let me show you from out here so you know what I'm doing, okay? These are, it's a tight fit, and you have to go in from under. The top side won't work because the engine is in the way, okay? So you have to get in, and you have to wiggle, 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 wiggle wiggle yeah okay and somehow you get it in there and you kind of fiddle with it and you know i don't know exactly what you're doing when you're doing it but i know that i'm in there fiddling and then i feel it move just a little and then i go and i hope it comes out and if not it goes and I'm like, uh, 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 this is so stupid why are engineers stupid i'm an engineer you're an idiot with a degree I don't know. They're dumb. Okay? Dumb, 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 dumb. I think this is supposed to, like, heat shield it and protect the wire from corroding and whatever. But this would just get hot, too. I'm sure it would transfer over. I don't know. Stupid. All right? So I'm going to show you how this bad boy works at first where it's going to make it. Um, this side here is already done. So I got in. It was really difficult. You had to come in like this. And the wires are in the way, and I can't see, you can't get in there, there's stuff in the way. I want to show them the hardest side, okay? This, and then you had to come in and, like, get it under there. And see, there's a heat shield around it, too. It made it worse. Well, as you got further, this one's open. This heat shield's okay. This one gets smaller and smaller. So, this last one, I just took my vice grip and pinched it. And can you see the... There, okay, see it? Okay, this nub. So, I pinched here, and I did like a seesaw leverage you know i just pried and it came off the last one oh actually no i think i actually got this one i might have got it from up here if not i'll show you i come around here come around and then go back up there this one i got in and grabbed it this way i'm 90 percent sure of the third one the last one i had to go under the vehicle right here right down here show my hand under there and i had to get under the truck and go up with it and I reached up my arm around here, through here, got the vice grip latched on, and pride, pride. And this is where the screwdriver came in handy. And it's way up there. Uh, maybe I could have got it in here, maybe. But there's stuff in the way. I want to show you. It's way, way back there. It's, it's here. Okay. This is actually where the actual spark plug is. It's right. I'm touching it right now. Okay. So I couldn't get in that way. So I got it from under. The heat shield wasn't in the way. You see this. Uh, header the manifold right here 
and the headers look right here okay you get under this and yes. see where the cat is right where the cat is if you can see it the cat right there the cat like converter there was space to go behind the headers okay and you could put this in and you had to watch out because there's like brake lines right there or transmission cooling lines these ones right here come here so they're transmission cooling lines see them they run straight through there so you had to go behind them in about this much space and use the engine block and go like this and then i've got it to move it took like what do you think 10 minutes or more of doing this and then i got it just under enough show them. and this i'm just trying to help you because it was a pain get it under and then force to turn in that instead of the flat but that width under the metal of those got it just enough that it would go and then i could wiggle it and pull it out okay okay all right there's my leak that's it right there okay all right okay oh i didn't even show them let's show them since i just did it which one was this one so this is all it is okay that's the boot same boot i'm not putting these back on you don't need them don't do it okay these are what cause you it's like a locking mechanism for no reason you can feel it gets in there listen can you hear it when it gets right here it goes okay you guys probably can't hear it but it locks and that's why you can't get off just because this if not i just pull them off so that's what we're doing yes i could probably use those wires again they're old anyway and i probably damaged some of them so let me show you how this works on the easy side you guys can see can you see in there pretty good mm -hmm. yeah i already did these spark plugs the other day um I had to go buy the tool because of these stupid things. So you get this in here like I'm showing you. Can you see? Okay. Kinda. And you gotta just. Yeah, I gotta reach in. Alright, so as I'm pulling, get that guy. See it? No, I can't see Okay, well, they can tell. See what I'm saying, guys? I'm not even. There's no. There we go. They were a little easier, but actually the first ones were actually okay with this. So that's it. It's just, but it doesn't want to fit. I want to show you guys this. This thing, this cool tool is cool, right? But it needs to be a little bigger circle. So that when it comes in, look, see, it doesn't want to fit. It needs to be the width of this. Do you agree, Kristen? Mm -hmm. Look, if it was an eighth of an inch wider, the circle, you'd get in there perfect. So Lyle, hey, Lyle, design one a little bigger for the new engines because of these stupid heat shields, okay? We're going to go one more one. These just need to be wire replaces. I already did these spark plugs, okay? So, would you hammer those wires? There you go. See? The wires are kind of screwed up. Give me that one. You see? See? They're different up top. And then, but other than that, I mean, they're the same. And if you look, see my actual filament the metal is coming out far because i beat them up so bad okay and not putting these back on okay so here we go long end down here find your spark plug watch out guys okay and then you can tell with the actual metal thing you could not tell if you got the boot on all the way you just had to hope that you were in far enough okay that's there that came off. Watch out. Can you still see good? Mm -hmm. Make sure you latch it. There's a little click. It's hard to tell. Okay. So I'm going to see if I can get the rest of these off without this tool since I did have it off there. Oh, look. See it? Can you see how far the boot is out? Can you see the second one? Yeah. You weren't in it. Okay. Hold on. All right, guys. See this one here? See how far the boots pulled out from me the other day? That's why I was worried that. Yeah, see, I just broke it. See that? It's already broke. I was worried about driving with it because, yeah, see, I still can't get it, okay? So I'm still going to need the tool even though I just had these off the other day. But yeah, I just stripped the wire out and I knew they were all going because of it. See it? They're easier now. Oops. Okay, hand me another wire, please. Actually, hit me all three. I'm going to just pull, 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 and then flip them all in one at a time to the furthest back. Careful. They're all beat up, so I can't mess it up. You still filming? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm, I'm hoping this helps you. Um, 
you know, if it looks like it's too much, especially the crawling under there, I mean, it did suck, but it's worth it because the good chance is those back two that I wrestled, at least the last one, the mechanic or the dealer, whoever, is not going to pull it. Maybe getting it up in the air, they'll have a better angle, but not really. I was under it, and there was still no angle, was there? It still took forever just because it couldn't get in there and they had that long chair. So maybe they'll put it up in the air and they won't cheat you. But, you know, the Ford Aerostars and Chevy Astros or whatever, they used to call them the five, spug, five plug chains where they didn't change the one in the very back because it was closed in, okay? Because if you look, this one's not as far back. But see how it's Ford, Ford, it's like a gap in, down, down, and then this one's at the end of the engine. Well, it's that way on the other side, so it's actually back there, okay? Um, but I'm 90% sure you take this in the mechanic, they're going to change only seven of these. So you're going to have a spark plug in there that's old and wire because they're not going to get the wire off. All right? So I'm just letting you know. Um, this one was harder because you see there's stuff in the way again. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a dust cover, but still. Okay. Check things in. When you're under the vehicle, you see stuff like that. Look into it. So you can get a new one easily or if you have to buy a whole new part. Look for damage. You always should do that when you're in here. Let's see. Here we go. I'm in here and see so you have to go under things. This how it is on the other side. There's, these brake like type style lines are right in the way on the bottom of that last one. Even with this tool, like I said, if this tool was just a tad bit better, it'd be perfect. It's like slightly gripping. There we go. I'm having to do it like three or four times to get it. Did I get it? How much was this tool? Like five bucks? I have no idea. You Amazon? Have it on Amazon, like five bucks, okay? Even though it doesn't really make the job 100%, it does. I, how long do you think with before the time day when these are the easier ones? It, it took me an hour, right? Mm -hmm. To do the side of the engine? Yeah. With the tool, I did the whole engine now in less than that time. Ah, just got my finger, okay? You can wear gloves, wear gloves. This part of turning wrenches, you go and get yourself. It sucks. I can't wear gloves when I do this. It makes me feel like I don't have control. Um, even the mechanic gloves that are supposedly made for it. Okay. Good thing out is it's kind of good thing for today. Cutting your hand and nicking it and smacking it. It's kind of cold, so it stings even more. You know. Ah. Be careful. I got see the brake lines here. I got to be careful on them, that I don't like rupture them. Slam them into this. No, that's my butt. I'm busy working. There's a nice butt though. It is a nice butt. Ah! So as you can see, break them off with the vice grip. Because I want to show you. I can't get in there. Oh. That's the last one. I could have showed them how I did it, but. Guys, this is what I did. The vice grip ones are the ones that were used. The third one on the other side. I pinched it, and then I used this, and I just leveraged. That doesn't mean it's going to help, though. You could pinch it too much. Yeah. And just, these are the tools you're going to need. It's a stupid job. Okay. It's not quite the right tool. It is, but it, like I said, it just... Is it let me that's kind of tight? Okay. It just needs to be that it slips in because right now I'm like basically just nudging at it. Which isn't enough. I think I got it. Ah my fingers. Are we on? Mm -hmm. okay. So here we go. What? Let's drop the phone. Pop one. Good thing is, all spark plug wires are the same size now. Okay? So, I gotta get in there. Move your arm. I gotta get in there. I can't read. Okay? I'm not that tall. Okay? Here we go. Long end to the spark plug, short end here. You'll know because that's a male. And that's a female. These are the coil packs, ignition coil, whatever. Um, 
It's like a distributor cap. They don't have that anymore, if you don't know, on newer cars. They're set up different for their firing order. It's got this whole rail. All the wires coming off it that determine the firing order instead of a distributor. Okay. People are gonna say he's an idiot. What are you talking about? Look, mechanics should not be watching my video. It doesn't make sense. This should be people who just are at home doing it on their own when they need a little help. Because look. I'm not threatening your way of life. If people aren't going to pay you, they aren't going to pay you because you guys rip them off. Every time I go into a mechanic, they try to tell me something's broken if I've just recently replaced it. You'd think they'd see it with the sticker and shining and go, oh, oh. But someone's like, oh, it's bad. Oh, they can be bad new. Well, you're wrong. And then I'll take it off and replace it. Oh. Okay, well, it doesn't need to be done. It doesn't need to be done because it never needs to. Okay, so we're going to get in here and hopefully all of these come out quickly. These four have not been removed yet. So it's a tight fit in here um, and I got this thing still stuck, the uh, female part of it. I think I need my vice grip. Can you hear me? Like I said, you're going to destroy the boot sometimes. This one I pulled off with the tool, but the, the stress in the metal, the way it catches, it like squishes when you shove it in, it makes it stuck on the spark plug, it damaged the wire. So you're gonna, look at me, you're gonna have to buy the wires. I know it sucks, um, they're expensive. Uh, go on Amazon and get them, the wires were like 38 or something. Instead of the 70 or 80, they want no Riley in advance and all them. It'll help you out. Um, and then they don't even have them in stock in most of the places. That's why I ended up buying I was going to get them in stock at the store so I could just do it because I was already in there. And then they didn't carry them. And uh, it was more. Even with my 10% veterans discount, it was going to cost me a lot more. It was going to be $70 for the wires with the discount. Um, and I need that extension. Where's that in my pocket? And they couldn't get them for two or three days. And Amazon can get them to me next day. Mm -hmm. She messed up and blamed me. So, all right, that's, that's, it's, they're still they're hard. They've been on here a while. Um, oh my gosh, these boys are torqued down. And there's not look. I mean, there's just not a lot of room to work under here. <laughs> Ah, all right, we're gonna go one more extension and hope it gives me go. Mm -hmm. Are we in? Mm -hmm. I mean, you're on. Shush, you know what I meant. Okay, so I got a little more. Sometimes you get a little more leverage, even though it's just straight out. <sighs> okay, we're gonna attempt to change the direction. Put this here and see if I can get more leverage just pushing down here. Not rack my knuckle. No. Bad boy does not want to come off, which sucks. Ah, wait, is that it? That's it. Whoo, I hit my arm pretty good on this metal bracket that holds the uh, engine oil dipstick. <laughs> Did he say he's a dipstick? No, but I am. Ah. You're going to need different, you know, you might even because of that back one want a uh elbow socket the ones that have like a hinge in them and you can turn them because i'm i have one i'm gonna have to probably go get that i don't think i'm gonna be able to get back there if it's this kind of power on it good thing with this socket wrench is you can do this easily with your fingers once you get to a certain point so you don't have to remove it out of there some of them can't do this as well all right so Whew. Okay, so I gotta, let's show you what we got. It's just like the other ones. Um, they're not horrible. They have some corrosion on there. But you see, there's the ceramic part, and you see the little diode that sticks out. It's not very tall. Let me show you the new ones. Are these the new ones? the 
diode sticks closer so there's less gap. Is that right okay. Can you see it kind of? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, if you look though, this actually looked like it started curling down over time just from the heat or whatever. And you can see this metal's thicker, so it like slightly erodes. Alright. There we go. I'm gonna take this. Best thing is put it back in the spark plug socket. It'll help hold it. Uh, the rubber in the socket will help you hold it so you can get the socket in its spot and not cross thread it and stuff. Okay, now that I got that, the extension. Okay, so I got it all the way on. Can you see what I'm done? No. Nope. No? I mean, I can see With the camera. camera. I can't see your face. That's fine. Nobody wants to look at my ugly mug anyway. Nope. So, alright. I'm going to go to work on these other three. Um, like I said, you're going to have to get in there and wrestle that back. I mean, I want to show you guys. It's, with this tool, with my arm, it is in there. It's back there. It's going to be a wrestle. This one's even kind of hard. Okay? But that one is behind there. So you're going to have fun. Um, I may come back on. And show you that last one if I have any special trick I come up with to get in there. If not, you're just going to have to wiggle around. You might even have to go from the bottom somehow and try to straight, tighten it in at first. Okay. All right, everybody. So the little bit of room I was telling you, you cannot have an extension or anything on. And then there's no room for the move the socket wrench. So this is what I'm having to do. Like this. Let it fall a little. Right here. Give a little. Grab this. And yeah, I think I fell off. So, but I did get it to break itself free. Look, get a nice little tool that you got, the extension that can barely allow wiggle worm on the handle. And let's see if I can get it to go on its own now. Okay, I can now. So you get a little more. I got about a eighth of an inch. Yeah, I'm giving each one. But we're there. And this is gonna be the hardest one. This is the hardest to get off. It's gonna be the hardest to replace. This is why I was telling you. When you go to the dealer or wherever, they're going to just leave it on because, nope, let's hope that I can get in there and turn it by hand with the socket on it. Nope, nope, I'm losing my wrench. Okay, take this bad boy from me. So that's that guys, that's all I wanted to show you, give you a little more in depth. Um, let me get this one off real quick and then we'll talk for two seconds and then you can go have fun with your spark plug change, you know? Get a little... Mm -hmm. Alright, that was the last one. This one may not have been changed before. It doesn't look real dirty, but there's absolutely no diode little part left. The little electrode, whatever. I keep calling it a diode. It's an electrode probably. Make fun of me. I don't care. So, last one in. I gotta get in there. I gotta do it. I gotta do it real good. You know, give 110%. Um, hope this helps you for real. Um, it sucks. I mean, if they're not gonna charge you a lot at a mechanic, go do it. But the problem is, you're gonna know if they may not change the spark plug. It's not gonna be good for running that spark plug at 200,000 miles or whatever on the same original one. Um, but do what you gotta do. It does suck. But if you got the time, it's gonna save you a lot of money. I bought the spark plugs and the wires under a hundred dollars 
Yeah, it was 80, wasn't it, for the spark plugs? I didn't buy them online. Um, spark plugs, I did buy at O'Reilly because if something goes wrong, I can return them. Because I've heard that sometimes, the, even on Amazon, they're knockoff spark plugs. When they come, you can tell they're not the real thing. Um, maybe that's not true, but I was worried about that, and I had them in town. I was going to go get them and do them right then, and then I couldn't get them all off. So do whatever you got to do. If you get them off Amazon, maybe you can get them cheaper. Go with the AC Delco's 41 162. It's factory. I've heard if you go with other models, it throws codes in these vehicles. Their computers are stupid and they're like, oh, this one's not firing at the same rate, whatever. Boo. I don't know. There we go. Again, I'm going to ramble because that's what I do. As always, RJ. As always, I'm RJ. Seize the day each and every day. Comment below if you got any questions. I might have answers. I might, okay?